I'm Los Angeles Times columnist Pat Morrison. What's so different about this royal birth? They changed the law so that boy or girl, whoever gets born, will be the future monarch. Now, in centuries past, the puniest and stupidest prince always cut in line ahead of the smartest and the bravest princess, but that's not going to happen anymore. How different could English history be if it had been in place? Henry VIII, his first child, a girl, she would have been the queen. Those other five women wouldn't have been Mrs. Henry VIII and had a much better time of it. Queen Victoria, for example, her firstborn was a girl also named Victoria. She would have stayed in England and been the queen of England, but no, she had to go to Prussia, marry the crown prince, and give birth to a monster. Prince King, excuse me, Wilhelm II, the Kaiser, who was the crazy dude who helped to start World War I. So English history and indeed much of European history would have been very very different, and it may yet be different, with Kate and William's child coming to the throne, boy or girl, in the years to come. I'm Pat Morrison. Thanks for listening.